Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is Nth Fibonacci number and it is an easy level problem. So the problem statement is fairly straightforward. It says that we have been given a positive integer n and we have to find the Nth Fibonacci number modulo this particular value that is 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Right. And uh, the time in space complexity is both O of n although we do not require O of n space and uh, let us see how we can solve this problem in much lesser space than O of n. Right. So let us quickly jump out to the problem discussion. So we know that uh, the ith Fibonacci number is equals to the i minus 1 th Fibonacci number plus i minus 2 th Fibonacci number. Right. And looking at the sample test cases that they have given to us, I am assuming that they are assuming the first Fibonacci number to be 1 and the second Fibonacci number to be 1 as well. Right. And the series will continue from here. Right. So now what I can do is I can initialize two variables x and y with both is equal to 1. So if x and y are written like this and I want to find the third integer z, now from here I know that this x is going to be useless after this operation. So I can assign x is equal to x plus y. Right. So the value of this variable z is going to be stored in this variable x. Right. And now I can just swap these two positions of x and y. So essentially what will happen? x and y will take these positions right so whatever was supposed to be in z will now come in y whatever was earlier in y will now come in x right so this will be a series of two operations where i do x is equal to x plus y and then i just swap x comma y right so let me just write it again step by step so if x y and z were like this after this first operation x will come here and y will come here and after the second operation x and y will look something like this right so this is what is essentially happening now at each step whenever you are doing this mod you can just take modulo with this particular mod value and you don't have to do anything else so you see you can find the nth Fibonacci number using only two variables right and you don't even need to create the third variable so without using any extra space we were able to find it this particular nth Fibonacci number in o of n time Right. So the code is also fairly simple. Let me just directly show you. So you see what happens is I create two variables x and y and I initialize both of them with 1 and I also initialize my modulo value with 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Now starting from i is equal to 3 till less than n plus 1 I am just incrementing i and for each iteration I just set x is equal to x plus y mod this particular mod value and I can just swap the values of x and y and at the end I can return the value of y. So why am I returning only y? So y is going to store the latest variable or the latest Fibonacci number that is why I am returning y. So this was all about today's problem of the day. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and to be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always subscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends and until the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye.